Afghanistan remains on a rocky road. There is lack of security, shattered economy, corruption and high unemployment rates. The country still lives under the shadow of the Taliban 14 years after U.S. forces toppled its government. And recent Taliban battlefield victories and attacks have revived fears of a total security collapse. But the prospect of talks is reviving hope. Abdul Hakim Mujahid is a former member of the Taliban. He now heads the government's high council that is in charge of efforts to negotiate with the armed group. So this is the time that both sides, the government of Afghanistan and the Taliban Islamic movement to go for a compromise and political settlement in the country. In July, Pakistan organized a meeting between members of the Taliban and the Afghan government. The talks ended after it was revealed that the Taliban's longtime leader, Mullah Muhammad Omar, had died two years earlier. Hakim says the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant has forced all to compromise. That uh, uh, new phenomenon forced some international powers uh, to go for political settlement with the Taliban Islamic movement and pressurize the government of uh, Afghanistan and the government of Pakistan to go sincerely for political settlement. Mm -hmm. The outcome of the talks is not certain and the process could drag on. Many challenges lie ahead. The Taliban faces internal divisions after the appointment of Mullah Akhtar Muhammad Mansour as a new leader. High-ranking members have resigned and formed a splinter group. But last week, two rival factions have agreed to a ceasefire and prisoner exchange. And there is also the emergence of the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, which is fighting the Taliban on its own turf. The Taliban publicly says it will not negotiate while foreign troops remain in Afghanistan. Foreign troops ended their combat operations in late 2014, but there are about 14,000 mostly American and other international troops in Afghanistan to train, advise and assist local forces. The Afghan government wants the Taliban to denounce violence, recognize it and accept the constitution. So far, none of that has happened, but many Afghans remain hopeful. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera, Kabul.